Uh huh. What happened like this year? Well, something unexpected happened here, but no problem. Let me. No problem, sir. Okay. Something, something really unexpected. I don't know what what this is on my screen. Can you see that? I don't yes, know what sir, that I is. can see. I don't know. I don't know what this is. This some review. Some scratches. Right? Oh, that's yes. really yeah. There were some scratches, and that suddenly happened. I don't know. Wow. Okay, that was so unexpected. But anyway, we'll we'll start because uh, that is something that I didn't expect. That okay. Anyway, well, uh, if I was not presenting, I would have better restarted my computer. But no problem. I'll give it a shot. We'll see. Well, so you can continue. Yes. yep. Okay, so the thing that I'll be presenting today is the issue of. Uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and medical sciences. And that's, you know, one of the hot topics in medical sciences. And what we're going to tap on is in terms of uh, the perspective of neuroscience and cognitive studies and how AI and machine learning is going to contribute to medical science from one side and how medical science is going to inspire AI and machine learning. Uh, this is something which is an introductory approach to understand the significance of, of uh, AI and machine learning with regards to other disciplines of converging science and technologies, including nanotechnology, biotechnology, information technology, and cognitive science, something which is generally referred to as uh, the, um, like uh, NBIC or nanobioinfocogno paradigm. So by that, uh, I'll be having uh, some 35 something minutes to discuss uh, the significance of uh, the neuroscience applications of AI and machine learning uh, in terms of uh, medical health and clinical services, also a better understanding about the, uh, the impact on these kind of emerging sciences and technologies for the benefit of the society. Because we know that when we're discussing some uh, new paradigms in science, including NBIC or nanobioinfocogno, that is not the extent of the thing. We, we shall be using these for the betterment of the society, societal uh, welfare and also quality of life at global scale. And sometimes when, when, new, when new things come into the play, uh, there is this obsession, there is this huge urge to apply that to all different aspects of our lives. For, so that's why for the AI, we see that there is a new concept emerging called AOE, which stands for AI of everything. And that is actually a global AI mesh spawning, a digital quake, which is supposed to be driving the knowledge synthesis of everything or KSE. And, you know, strictly speaking, that has been uh, of interest to the policymakers in the UN, in UNESCO, in some areas like uh, World Health Innovation Summit approaches and, and many other uh, policy decision makers uh, in the WHO and in the, uh, you know, very, very credible organizational uh, uh, platforms for science and technology worldwide. So we've had uh, some some approaches from 2000 to 2015 from one side, and also there was another approach that he had 11 action levels at the global governance level, uh, and uh, they 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 used uh, they they used to uh, frame it under ITU WSIS, and together with this, with the UN MDGs, the converges on these two, we are now talking about in 2021 standing to 2030, we're talking about the UN or United Nations 17 SDG, which stand, SDGs, which stand for Sustainable Development Goal. And what stands for uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goal is the SDG is trying to tap into affordable, reliable, everywhere, safe, inclusive, fair, equal, resilient, and sustainable all ages inclusive care and services 
for all, for everybody. So everybody has this, uh, uh, you know, right to live a better life. And that's why at the global governance level, the UN is, is trying to uh, uh, stick to the 17 SDG goals that they collectively refer to as sustainable development goals uh, in collaboration with the World Health Innovation Summit. So this WIS and the SDG program, they are, uh, as you see here, they are focusing on 17 main pillars of uh, the world uh, governance and the global governance. Uh, for instance, number three, the SDG three is uh, all the measures and all the perspectives this is going to, uh, which is going to serve the good, good health and productivity. And also we have other SDGs like uh, that they are going to serve the screen of the poverty, also the quality of education, the gender equality, and uh, the peace and justice, life on land, life under land, I mean, underwater, and uh, to protect the planet and to clean, to, to access, to have clean energy and so on and so forth. So uh, to promote this kind of things, all are going to be converged into the SDG number 17, which is, which is going to focus on the partnerships for the goals. And uh, I was very fortunate to be part of the WIS activities as a delegate and speaker, because WIS and the World Health Innovation Summit, they have a series called WIS Talks. And I was fortunate to contribute to a couple more of these activities that we were discussing the implications of the, of the modern neuroscience and also science and technology advances in, uh, in optimization of the SDG goals. And that's not our initiative. If you look at uh, the UN website and other institutional efforts, you will see that the AI, artificial intelligence, is, is already contributing to like six SDGs already. AI in these is being used in, uh, in approaches to detect poverty and to, to approach no poverty. So to track the poverty, SDG one, AI has been contributing. Apparently for diagnosis and treatment and the follow-up surveillance of, of, uh, of a series of diseases, SDG three, uh, AI is playing a role for quality of education, the causal influences of developmental program education or SDG four, a, AI and machine learning is already playing a role. Microfinance and for greenhouse emissions and smart cities, AI is absolutely one of the main pillars that is that is defining the, the, uh, the I mean, the whole perspective. And they are going to be converged, as we stated before, into SDG 17, which is converging knowledge and technology for the benefit of the society at global scale. Coming back to the impact of, because what we're talking about today, I, I still remember the very first agreement that we have today. We're gonna to talk about AI and machine learning impact on medical sciences and medical care and also health. And when we take a look at the, the literature, it turns out that we, we got a bunch of evidence uh, which, which are really compelling. Uh, we, we, we came across one of the papers uh, that, that kind of beautifully highlights the impact of artificial intelligence in healthcare. And that has been by, uh, by Fei Jiang in 2017, which provided a very good overview. And I just thought that would be interesting to tap into today. And we extended our research on this kind of thing. And we did the updated search on the literature, mainly on PubMed and Scopus publications to make sure that how artificial intelligence is, is impacting uh, the healthcare in, in the modern world. Uh, so looking at the whole concept for some people who are, who are not pretty much uh, familiar with the concept of AI and machine learning, uh, we, we all appreciate the fact that we got some uh, rule-based and expert systems that they are self-improving. So they are like making an educated uh, predictive models for, for detection for, uh, of kind of features that is sort of linked with uh, some uh, labels. All right, so the feature label analysis, the predictive models, decision trees, these are something which are generally being 
discussed in the whole 